Given what we know about the impact on the construction sector and potentially on lenders, what impact do you expect this to have on real estate finance transactions? Well, Sarah, I can see a real impact on uh, on banking documents and, and, and facility precedents in particular. Uh, and I can see that in, in three ways. I, I, I anticipate that we will be developing uh, some new representations and warranties uh, relating to the application specifically of the, the, the Building Safety Act. Uh, if it's a, whether or not a, a building is a, a high risk building or not, uh, and, and general compliance with, uh, with, with information uh, obligations day one. I can then see ongoing uh, covenants uh, around delivery of information and accessibility to the golden thread information where that's applicable. And then I can see new conditions, precedents being introduced that will really focus in uh, on enhanced due diligence uh, where you're dealing with uh, a new uh, building that is in scope for the Building Safety, Safety Act uh, or uh, an acquisition of a building that is uh, also captured by the, the Building Safety Act. Thanks, Can I just, just raise a question here, just to dwell on that point of our due diligence. What, what about due diligence in this context? Can somebody explain that a bit? Yeah, so perhaps I can pick this up in the first mm -hmm. instance in relation to the, the construction side of things. So the first question we'd ask when undertaking a due diligence exercise is how tall the building is. And does it contain two or more residential units? And that would help us establish the extent to which the Building Safety Act applies. Where it does apply, then we'd expect to see a lot more questions around borrower compliance with the relevant requirements under the Act. Yeah, and so as a starting point, as John mentioned, we are likely to see new CPs coming in relation to the Building Safety Act, both on an investment loan or a development loan. Um, and this will pick pick up things such as the golden thread packs um, and so you'll need to ensure that your lawyers have reviewed these to make sure that everything is there uh, as far as they can be. Our view is also that fire engineers will start to become a central part to the transaction on both development and investment transactions um, and increasingly there'll be a reliance on the fire engineers reports um, and this will need to be made available to, to the lenders. Um, as with all new regulations, there is a work in progress in industry while everybody catches up. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see where and how uh, the LMA, CLLS um, adapt their standard and precedent documents um, and how this will all get reported on in certificates of title, for example, um, if at all. Okay, thanks very much for explaining that.